Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be doing a dewy makeup tutorial. For this dewy makeup, I'll be using a lot of products that are hydrating, that are illuminating, and which gives me that glowy gorgeous kind of a finish. So that's what I'm aiming to. Let's see how it turns out. Firstly, I'm starting with a well moisturized face and I have my clear lip balm on my lips. This is a must for all my makeup because I kind of feel my face is very, very dry and without the moisturizer, makeup doesn't glide on very smooth in my skin. It's a well moisturized face, my canvas is ready and I'm starting my makeup. I'm starting off with the D30 Kralon Orange Concealer. I'm taking a little bit in my middle finger, applying it only in the areas where it's a little bit pigment, especially around my under eyes and in the corners of my nose and down my lips. After the color corrector, I'll be using the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour hydrating foundation. I've taken a small pump of this foundation and I'm going to be mixing the NYX Born to Glow liquid highlighter. I'm going to be mixing a drop of this liquid illuminator with the foundation. Using this foundation all over my face and neck. This foundation is not an exact match to my skin tone. It's a little lighter and hence I'm using the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation. It's an illuminating foundation, almost close to my skin color and or stat bit which is darker. I'm using it on the contours of my face. Blending them all with a makeup sponge. For the next step, I'll be using a concealer. The concealer that I'm using for today is the PAX Spotlight Concealer. I'm taking a good amount of the concealer in my brush and swiping it under my under eyes, on the bridge of my nose, above my lips, on the chin and in the center of the forehead. Now that the base is ready, I'm going to quickly set my face. I'm going to be setting my face only in the places where the concealer has been used. And for this purpose, I'm using the Revolution Luxury Powder. I'm going to be quickly setting my face where the concealer is applied. I'm not going to go too heavy with it or bake it. Just like that, the setting is done. With whatever is left out in the brush, I'm just going to use it over my eyelids. The next step is the contour. I'm using the Nika K Jewel Contour Palette. Dipping into the lightest color. I'm just going to go in the shape of three. Starting in the forehead, going down to the hollows of the cheeks and under my jawline. Also using a small fluffy brush to contour my nose. I'm using the same color in the crease as well as in the outer corner of my lid. Now for the next step, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. I'm filling in the sparse areas using the Miss Claire Eyebrow Cake. Just like usual, I'm brushing them out first. Dipping into the brown and the black and going with light handed strokes. Eyebrows done. And for the next step, I'm going to be using the blush. The blush that I'm using today is Lip and Cheek Stain by Benefit. I'm picking a little bit of my finger and going over my cheeks like that. Next, I'm going to blend it using the same makeup sponge. This is just a mild stain. I'm going to be going over with lipstick as well. Now that the blush is done, I'm moving over with the rest of my eye makeup. For the eye makeup, I'm using Smashbox Always On Gel Liner. I'm going to use this in my lower waterline. The next step after the eyeliner is the mascara. I'm going to be using the Total Temptation Waterproof Mascara by Maybelline. I'm going to be using this on my upper and the lower lashes. Place it in the base of my lashes and wiggle it out. What a difference in both the eyes. Now that the eyes are complete, I'm going to be moving on to the lips. I'm using the Pro Art Lip Liner and line my lips. Now 
Now I've lined and filled the outer corners of the lip. Inside of my lips, I'm going to be using the Smashbox The Legendary Mini Lipstick. For the final step, I'm going to be highlighting the high points of my face. For this purpose, I'm using the same NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in the shade Sunbeam. Smudging it with my fingers and then with the makeup sponge. Now that the liquid highlighter is done, I'm going to be setting my face MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Just need to give it a minute or two for it to settle down. In the meanwhile, I'm going to be using the ELF Lip Plumping Gloss just in the center of my lips. Now for the last and the final step, I'm using the Flower Beauty Highlighter. I'm going to be mixing this gold and this moonlight silverish kind of a shade and using it on the high points of my face, same where I applied the liquid highlighter. I think it went a little bit overboard, but still nothing I can do with this. So this is the completed look. How do you think it turned out? I think I look like a perfect glow goddess. With all this highlighter in my face and the high points and the light attract my face, I do look all dewy, glowy and hydrated. So did you guys like this look? If you like this look, please comment down below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon which is right here below. This helps you to get notified about every video that I post. In case you guys try out any of the looks that I've already made, tag me in that post and let me know by commenting down below. Like, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.